This is a great school, and it's been a good fraternity school for, through the years. They used the housing as an integral part of their program, and that made it, gave it some strength. I think there's a, there's a subtle bond that, that, that it's goes It's an honor and a through. privilege to be called a Kappa Sig. Started here at Northwestern. My father was a Kappa Sig at uh, Lake Forest, and uh, I came to Northwestern and uh, pledged, and my father helped initiate me, and uh, I've never regretted that in my life. Uh, I have so many friends from Kappa Sig, like yourself, and it's a lifelong commitment. I've made friends through business and that for many years, but my best friends are the friends that I made when I was in school at Kappa Sig. It was that way, and I think it always will be that way. That's the, they were in my wedding. Uh, they're, I think they'll be beside me if I have bad times. They're the godparents of my children. I love them. There was a brother ahead of me, uh, Alex, Alex Derisich, who used to say that Kappa Sigma to him meant unconditional you know, friendship and love, and, and that's, that's, I guess, what it is. I'm Jeff Davis, 61. I know I speak for the many brothers at Epsilon Delta that this good thing of ours, Kappa Sigma fraternity, has been a magnificent lifelong experience from the time we joined at Northwestern University and has sustained us through our lives. As chapter grand scribe in 1962 and 63, I'm honored to be your electronic conductor on this tour through our heritage. I report with pride that our undergraduate brothers are the force to be reckoned with, top of the list, acknowledged by the numbers, the grades, and the quality of men in this chapter as Northwestern's number one fraternity. The current group got to the top the way Kappa Sigmas always get there, by the strength of their ideas and convictions, and old-fashioned hard work. Another KZ tradition also thrives. Nobody throws a better party, never has, never will. These men are a diverse group of talented individuals who pull together and live the fraternal motto, Kappa Sigma, not for a day, an hour, or a college term only, but for life. Praise hell while we praise hell while we're here. In 1939, Kappa Sigma had chapters at every Big Ten school except Northwestern. Three Kappa Sigma graduate students from other schools, Charlie Cleveland, Fred Rush, and Don Schultz, took the initiative to establish a chapter on the Evanston campus. Help came that summer when they met Carlisle Anderson, a 1929 initiate of Minnesota's Beta Mu chapter, and his brother-in-law, Bill Wyckoff, a Kappa Sig at Dartmouth, son of past worthy Grandmaster William Wyckoff. Once again, five friends and brothers brought a dream to reality. You formed the Star and Crescent Club. Yes, that's right. We started and formed the Star and Crescent and, and uh, pioneered that thing. And when the Navy took over the housing at Northwestern, we moved what was left of the chapter into our third floor at home and kept it active during the war. It took nearly two years before Star and Crescent was initiated and chartered as Kappa Sigma. The great day came on May 16, 1941. The first Epsilon Delta chapter president was Ali Durham, a lineman for NU football coach Pappy Waldorf, and blocker for the legendary Otto Graham. How many brothers uh, were there in the original group? Uh, I think about 12, 15, at the, with plus the five or so that were from out of school. The boys came back to Evanston from the war in late 1945 and early 46, and Carlisle Anderson and Stuart Howe went to the university to find a permanent campus home. See, the university helped us get in there. I had a close relationship with Harry Wells, who was business manager, and that's how we got the house itself, too. 